Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. <laughs> Good afternoon, brothers. Good afternoon. So, uh, you know, it's it's a delight to be leading you guys into a worship with my brothers in here. Uh, but before anything else, my name is Eric. I'm the uh, unit leader for Nipian Blue Mountains area. Woo! <laughs> uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I... I'm part of Corpus for Christ uh, here in Sydney. Uh, me, my wife, Amel, uh, and, and um, our 15-month-old uh, 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 baby, Mon Ignacio, Migi for short. And because we are all working from home, we became so productive. So not only Miki, we have a 15, 15 weeks old baby Woo! that is on the way uh, in December. Um, and you know it's a it's a it's a great privilege uh, to be leading into your worship for this cluster assembly. I think it might be the last cluster assembly for the year uh, because we only have a January cluster assembly in uh, mid-year, which is July. Uh, and you know it's a it's a great time to worship. Uh, you know, in this pandemic, it was you know a, a struggle for every one of us, for you and I. Some of our brothers and sisters lost their jobs. Um, some of us uh, are suffering from, you know, uh, having questions in our minds. What will happen? When will this end? You know, the other day I was looking at uh, browsing Facebook and I saw a post about, you know, uh, all these big companies closing down. Uh, my parents, uh, with the grace of God, came here as a tourist before the pandemic. Uh, before every all the borders of the world closed down. It was a big blessing. Uh, after four months, they've been uh, experiencing some, you know, uh, homesickness. They want to go home. Uh, but all this uncertainties, all these things, you know, uh, make us question like, oh Lord, what do you want us to do? Where do you want us to go? Where are you calling us? One time there was a good conversation between me and my parents. And I told them, you know, even though you have the money, with this kind of situation that we have, we can't do anything. Money is meaningless. These companies, big names closing down, their influence is gone. Even our own label as Couples for Christ doesn't mean anything anymore. Made that made us all equal, made us all sons and daughters of the Lord. At this pandemic, during the start of the year, I don't know if uh, actually one of our brother here, uh, Boya, brother Boya, with our unit, I told them at the start of the year, this year, we're called to holiness, we're called to be silent, we're called to reflect Little that we know, lo and behold, the Lord made us quiet. We cannot stand, uh, we cannot continue to be what we are before. People are calling and talking about new normal. The gospel for today talks about new wine skin and the old cloth, the old, old wine skin. And it says, you know, when you patch the new wine skin to an old wine skin, it will just tear. Eventually, it will deteriorate. Brothers and sisters, at this time, the Lord is calling each and every one of us for a revival, for the new normal. We've used to be in 20,000, uh, you know, conference, 10,000 people having conference face-to-face. -face. We've been so busy with our life, busy with work, busy with our, you know, with our CFC, late night meetings and everything. But the Lord is calling all of us to a great mission, to a personal mission. First, He's calling us to have a closer relationship with Him with our interior life. We are all called by the Lord personally, beautifully, to come to Him. Our life
li- our hearts on, in line with Him. And second, as corpus for Christ, I believe we are called to be missionaries to our family. At this time, I know all restrictions are easing up, but let us not lose that learning that at the end of the day, the Lord wants us to increase our interior life and for our families to truly become for Christ. At this time, at mid-year, I will still tell my brothers, Boya, my brothers here, my brothers in uh, brothers and sisters in the new still the Lord is calling us for you know holiness, the stillness and the quietness of our hearts. That it's not about me, it's not about what I do best. It's not about my labels. It's not about the business of life. But at the end of the day, it's about that distinct, firm voice of the call of the Lord of our life. And so, brothers and sisters, as we start this worship, let us reflect. Lord, can I hear your voice? Let silence our hearts. Let silence our excitement. Let silence all the work that we need to do. Even the mission that we are called to. Let's just focus on the Lord, on that call. And as we sing this song, brothers and sisters, I would like you to close your eyes, be quiet. And in the stillness, let's find the stillness of God in this prayer. Let's find the stillness with the Lord with this song. Let's praise and worship the Lord. We praise you, Jesus. Glory to you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. The
Lord Almighty. The Lord Almighty, He is the King of Glory. This is the generation. Jesus, the glory be our God. We praise your mighty King, our beginning and our end. The voice in the desert, Lord Jesus, praise you, Lord God. Praise you, Lord God, the glory be our King. We praise you, mighty King of Zion. We praise you, Lord Jesus.
uncertainty as our topic for today. We will cling on your hope. We will cling on the hope, Lord God, that you get, you're giving to us. We will, Lord God, hold on to this. We praise you, Lord Jesus, for all the suffering. We praise you, Lord God, for all the blessing. We praise you, Lord God, when we start our day and when we finish our day. With all those great things that you have provided for us. Great things that you did in our lives. Us being here, us listening to you. Being with our brothers, being with our sisters. All this great thing. Thank you, Lord God, for the gift of life. Lord God, thank you for the gift of uh, this community tool to be closer to you. A tool for us to experience firsthand the hope that you give. The hope that you provide. When we lose sight of our faith. When we lose sight of our joy. When we lose sight of anything that we have. Lord, it will be your hope that it will that it that will enkindle all those things back again so we can continue, Lord God, to experience your great blessing. You're our great God and the only thing that we can say in our daily life is hallelujah to our, to our Lord. Hallelujah to our King. And so, as we come into this worship song, let's just sing praises to the Lord for His goodness, for His love. As we sing hallelujah. They say your love is stronger. You take away all the shame. The king of all other names is holy. Your love. Bye. 
you, Jesus of glory to you, Lord. Our King, our Lord, we thank you again for this opportunity, Lord God, to worship you, to honor you, Lord, in everything that we do. May we always remember the most important thing. Our God, it is you, our family. Lord God, that everything is done. Like right now. That everything is not there. May you always, Lord God, cling on your hope. Lord Jesus, we lift up to you. Today, our teaching, open our hearts. For those who are listening, for those who are watching. One with them. Let our hearts be open to your words. And may today, Lord God, be a form of prayer to you. Holding on your hope. And answering your call. For us to be families in the Holy Spirit. Renewing the face of the earth. And all this, Jesus, we ask and pray. In your holy mighty name. All together, let's pray. For glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever. Amen. May the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. Amen.